All right, what's going on, everybody? This is Broken Games HDR. So we got to talk about Halo a little bit more. And I promise you, I'm not trying to like rag on Halo or pile on Halo because um, I know my last few videos have been about it, but that's what's been hot in the news lately, right? We've gotten a lot of information about it. And, you know, the previous things that have come out about Halo, um, I don't even consider those things negative, right? Th that was just me talking about it and reporting it and giving you know, my, my thoughts on it. And by the way, apologize, uh, apologies for any noise you may hear in the background. As y'all know, I still got construction going on, but it shouldn't be anywhere as bad as my last video. So let's get to the details. So 343 uh, has announced that Halo Infinite, <clears throat> excuse me, Halo Infinite will not allow players to earn XP from completing or winning matches. Progression will instead be limited to completing daily and weekly challenges, which will only occasionally require players to, com to complete or win games. There will be a near infinite amount of daily challenges available for players each day. And the Halo community manager, I'm probably going to butcher his last name, uh, John Junsnek, uh, he was responding to uh, someone on Twitter and he, uh, you know, he's he clarified to them that playing or winning playing or winning matches will be challenges which will help players progress through the battle pass. Even though this means no per match XP at launch, which means maybe it'll come later, um, you're still always progressing through challenges and therefore the battle pass. And he said they'll update the blog. So this didn't come as very good news to most people, um, to anybody. I don't know why anybody would like this news. I mean, the foundation of how Halo Online worked uh, with this multiplayer is you gain um, experience, you progressed through playing and winning matches and your performance in those matches. So this is a great departure from that, right? To me, it, like, like I said, those previous things like regarding no forge and co-op uh, at launch, that wasn't a big deal to me because, you know, of my personal preference of how I like to play games. I never really cared about forge. Um, I personally believe that Halo isn't a co-op game. I know this has been a debate lately. Halo, Halo is just a single player experience uh, that has co-op features, but it's not the ideal way to play the campaign is with co-op. That's my personal opinion. And I stand by that. So those things weren't a big deal to me. I mean, even in my last video, people were making a big deal that I claimed that the December 8th release date was a delay. And I believe it is based on some contextual clues because I don't believe they necessarily intended or wanted to uh, launch that game in December. But re regardless, whatever you feel cool, like, I, you know, I wasn't it wasn't like I was trying to frame the release date in a negative fashion I, fashion. I wasn't harping on it being delayed. I don't have a problem with it being delayed or the December 8th release date necessarily, right? Even if this game got delayed out of 2022, I mean, the optics would, I mean, out of 2021, the optics would be bad, but I wouldn't necessarily consider a bad thing. You know, I, I'm, I'm never like super negative when it comes to delays happening because more often than less, uh, more often than not, they help the game. So I wasn't looking at those things when I, as negative when I spoke about them, right? But this, this to me is way worse than no forge and no co-op and a December 8th release date or delay, whatever you want to consider it. This is bad. This now this is way worse. Like people were in an uproar and you know got their they, you know their pitchforks and their and their torches because of that. This is a way bigger deal than that to me. Like this this is this is bad. Y'all need to be outrage ab about this not those things right because this affects the the core and the foundation of how multiplayer works in halo at least at launch because like he said at launch maybe it'll change later on but it's a red flag this is clearly a red flag because because why would you have um progression work like this at launch and then change it later that doesn't make any sense that's a, that's a red flag that that literally screams to me that this game is being rushed, right? And I kind of already assumed that because 
the fashion that they they showed the game in last year, right before Joseph came on, you know, it wasn't great. So they brought on Joseph to be, you know, to be their savior, to be their Lord and savior, like, please uh, save this game. And I said, listen, there's only there's only so much this man could do in a year. And as far as far as I know, he's he's mainly focusing on the single player part of the game. I don't know if he has that much uh, controller input over over the multiplayer. Right. Um, but there was only so much he, he could do regardless. And I was already be- I already believed they were under co- time constraints because of the one year delay. There's o- only so much you could do. And, you know, the pandemic, the people are working from home. Things take longer and everything like that. But this like solidifies it to me that they need more time. Because. The only reason to me you would have experience locked to daily challenges and weekly challenges is because you haven't had time to properly develop and create the XP system. I don't know how long, you know, XP systems take, how long they take to make, how intricate they are. You know, I know you got to probably design, you know, the scaling of how fast people level up, what level is the cap and all those things. So I assume it takes a decent amount of time. I don't know. I'm not a developer. I'm not somebody who pretends to be. But I would assume If it does take time, that's probably why you don't have it here and you're under time constraints, because if it didn't take that much time, then I don't see why it wouldn't be here. This they they are clearly being rushed and people were screaming for this game to be delayed again because of no forge and no co-op. I was like, y'all are insane. We there's no way they should delay this game because just because of no forge and no co-op. Then, you know, um, a couple other things happened that we learned about. Um, you know, even when people saw the December 8th release date, people were like, uh, December, y'all should just delay it till 2022 if y'all going to release it in December. Um, and I was like, nah, y'all, y'all are bugging. Now this, this is clearly a red flag to me because what else is there that, that we don't know about? Like this game is only about, well, yeah, about three and a half months away and, there's a few things that are, you know, just warning signs. This is the most recent thing that that we've learned about. And there's probably going to be more. And there was there was that report, once again, don't know if it's true or not, of a Halo um, developer on Reddit saying that they actually want to delay the game um, for several reasons. But the suits, and we know who the suits are, uh, they don't want to do it. Right. They would lose out out on a lot of money, marketing and all that good stuff. And maybe this isn't as bad as it sounds. Right. I'm 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 willing to give them somewhat of the benefit of the doubt that only earning XP through um, challenges isn't as bad if those challenges are things that you would do in the game anyway. Right. Because here's the problem with daily challenges and weekly challenges in most multiplayer games. They're always stupid. Or at least the majority of them are. They'll give you the, you know, the basic challenges that are easy. Oh, win one match. Uh, Get five headshots in in, in one match. Certain simple things you would do anyway. But then the rest of the challenges are idiotic things that you have to go out your way to do that would only end up screwing you in a match anyway do a 360 no scope you know at 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 mid at midday you know uh on december 1st 2028 i don't know something stupid right something ridiculous and something you would typically never do in a match that's not even fun you have to go out your way to do it it's probably going to get you killed it's probably going to lose you the match something ridiculous you know to get a kill during high tide or something something's dumb right it, it's always like that and that's why daily challenges and, and like weekly challenges are always stupid and why i despise them and i've never pursued them in any multiplayer game i i i've played as soon when i see daily challenges i completely ignore them like they're not even there oh you put in a daily challenge system okay good for you because i'm not gonna use it i could care less about it Right. And I don't I'm not sure if this if it's like you get to choose your daily challenges because some games do that. You get to they give you a list of daily challenges or weekly challenges. You can choose from them. Okay, I'm going to pursue this. Or is it just they give them to you? These are it for the day. Deal with it. Right. 
either way, even if this is a good challenge system, people still want to earn XP based on their performance and winning matches. Because whether because yes, we can still enjoy a game regardless, right? We can still just play a game for fun. That's the most important part. But at this point, we're very much adjusted and used to gaining experience and progressing through just playing matches. That's very hard to rewire the, the, the gamer's brain at this point to not, to not being okay with receiving experience or some type of uh, reward for just playing matches and their, and their performance in those matches. You can't just rewire people now. We're way too far gone for, from that. This is what we're used to. This is the norm. So you got to have that. And that's why, that's why it's a problem on top of challenge systems usually being extremely dumb and stupid and annoying. So, yeah, this is, this is, this is bad to me. Um, it sucks. It's unfortunate. It's clearly a red flag that they're being rushed, that, you know, not everything in this game is uh, complete. And they're, they're really treating it as a live game, Right. Halo Infinite multiplayer or Halo Infinite in general is very much a a live game. I don't want to say it's a game as a game as a service, but they're definitely treating it as a platform that they can just continue continually uh, upgrade and um, change at any time, which is which can be a good thing. But when you are very laxed about it in 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 a way that oh we're not going to have this at launch, but uh. We can always add it later. No big deal. When that's your attitude about it, then that's kind of negative, right? People don't feel like they're getting a uh, full, uh, a, a a full game in a in a, in a full package at, at, at launch, um, and certain basic things are missing. Then that becomes you know a problem. I've even seen some people saying, "Hey, don't pre pre-order Halo Infinite because, I mean, the multiplayer is free, right? So and people have." gotten a good look at the multiplayer and a good and some people got a good got a good taste of the, of the multiplayer but it's the it's the single player that costs money and it's the single player that people have not seen As, aside from that that craig demo which looked really bad and what did they show like i forgot what event it was but they showed like a little one minute glimpse of the world and i believe that was a single player other than that you really haven't seen any any halo single player um, and, and I'm sure between now and December, they will show it. I mean, they have to, right? Um, but as, as of right now, some people feel like, hey, what's the reason to really order Halo Infinite, uh, you know, pre-order? What's the point? And now me, I'm a pre-order anyway. Like, listen, I'm, I'm day one with Halo, that multiplayer, because I'm going to still have fun. I'm going to still, you know, go through that, that campaign solo, because that's the main, that's the way it's meant to be played. But, uh, you know, these are valid, valid worries, valid criticisms and everything like that for a uh for a game like halo um microsoft's most important flagship ip so yeah let me know what y'all think about this man it's not it's not great it's kind of a it's kind of annoying to to think of. i i hate daily challenges i really do i despise them so much but uh let me know what y'all think about this man um is it a big deal are we blowing this out of proportion do y'all how do y'all feel about daily challenges weekly challenges in, in multiplayer games am i the only one that hates them really let me know hit the like button hit the notification bell so you can know anytime i live stream or upload uh hit the join button to support the channel and uh follow me on twitter um so you can see all the weirdos creating fake metacritic accounts under my name and then claim that i'm review bombing psychonauts too because they're butthurt yeah, that's what's going on. Um, so, yeah, that's it, y'all. I'm out. Peace. I'll catch y'all in the next video.